The Rolling Stones were supposed to be the signature act of Jazz Fest on its 50th anniversary, but then Mick Jagger needed heart surgery. Well, Katie, that was then. This is now. Mick Jagger is back in action and the Stones are ready to roll. They've added a tour stop too, and it's here July 14th. Jade Cunningham has details. What started with celebration I got what I wanted. turned into heartbreak when the Stones canceled at this year's Jazz Fest. It's unfortunate, but I mean, if it's health, then, you know, what are you going to do? But there's satisfaction again with news the group will be in New Orleans July 14th. That is so gracious and sweet because they know everyone's heart was broken when they had to cancel. Performing in the Dome brings flashbacks to some fans. I still have the red boots I wore to it. Like Rise Auctioner. Well, I love to dance. A longtime and fan and the artist who painted the Mick Jagger poster for the Stones' concert there in 81. And you went to that concert. Yes. Besides being a musician, he's also an artiste and he's created a persona and you wanted to capture that in the magic. I just went through a million photographs of him because at the time he wasn't going to be able to pose live. So I just tried to look at picture after picture after picture and get the energy. Delicate. The end result sang, even getting the singer's approval. Oh, he loved it. When the two met. We had the poster signing, and I kept thinking, oh, we're going to hang out later. I'll get him to sign my poster later. And then they were gone. <laughs> she never got that signature, but says that won't stop her from being at July's concert. Do you think you'll be there? I know I'll be there. Joining others who've waited for this moment of seeing the Stones take over New Orleans once again. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Oxner described Mick Jagger as fabulous, fun, and larger than life. And she's also painted Julia Child and Emeril and Paul Prudhomme and many others.